Oh, jam on toast, Barbara, with a cup of tea. What do you name, Dale? <laughs> And welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, hello, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. Together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. And this is January the 31st, the final day of January, and therefore the final day of the January. Um, so this is our final shopping vlog of the January. Of course, we do shopping vlogs right throughout the year, and we're hoping that if you've done the January, you're now okay, I'm going to, I can do this. Yeah. Um, and, you know, hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel, uh, check out our recipe vlogs, our free ebook, um, and our regular down-to-earth vegan content, which we, of course, upload on the reg. <laughs> we do. We absolutely do. Um, we, we do hope that you stick with us. And more importantly, like Paul said, we hope you stick with the vegan journey um, in 2024 we've said it before it's easier than it's ever been before um, particularly in the UK particularly in we, the UK we, we must stress that yeah we must mention that and reference it because so many of you from around the world from America and Canada and Australia and and, and all over Europe and even some places in the Middle East say my goodness you guys have got great choices over there and we don't um, take that for granted mm -hmm. yeah. we are very lucky very lucky in that uh you know all of our supermarkets have good ranges of affordable vegan foods and quite a lot of them yeah 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 and that's really what particularly these shopping vlogs in veganuary have been all about it's been about showing you uh, whether you're our lovely regular subscribers who just need a reminder uh, and to, to write a list or the new people doing veganuary what can you get at your supermarket can you do your main shop at one supermarket and get pretty much everything that you need today we're at morrison's yes so this is our, as I say, our final uh, supermarket shopping vlog of the January because it's the last day of January. So, you know, we'll be in February next. Um, and uh, we will touch on, as we've mentioned in other vlogs, we'll touch on other things that you can do. Uh, I'm going to put some links down there, for example, for small where you can get vegan and cruelty free cleaning products used to just be laundry tabs now it's laundry dishwasher washing up liquid um spray for your surfaces they do all sorts i put their link down there we get our laundry tabs from them and i'll probably get more from them this year mm -hmm. i'll put the link down there for naked sprout where we get our toilet roll it's the um the uh the lowest emissions company in the UK mm -hmm. uh, that's where we get our toilet roll from but don't forget places like Superdrug for your makeup and your personal care products even te some of Tesco own brand personal care products toothbrush to uh, toothpaste mouthwash they have their clearly marked vegan and cruelty free yes and shops like b&m bargains and home bargains and products like astonish and fabuloso and so many others that i'm sure our fabulous members will let you know down there in the comments other household cleaning products and personal care products to look out for because of course living the vegan lifestyle isn't just about food mm -hmm. it's about doing as little harm to animals and the planet as is practicable and possible yeah those are the key words aren't they yeah 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 most definitely that's like the the uh, the definition of veganism on the uh, vegan society website so let's go into morrison's uh show you as much as we can in there and then we'll have another chat in the car at the end those of you that have fast forwarded this chat are rude <laughs> <laughs> but we will have shown you at the beginning of the video when the shopping started let's go into morrison's and uh see if um if it's uh, a good place to do your whole weekly shop as a new vegan 
just in case you didn't know, uh, Morrison's Cafe does a full vegan breakfast uh, for six pounds. So if you fancy coming having a breakfast and then doing your shop, you can do. We've done a video of this breakfast and I'll link it up there right now. Very nice to see as well, as you walk in, four tins of beans, clearly marked vegan, £1.70. And that's just as you walk in, just before the fruit and veg section. By the way, we're at uh, Chadderton Morrison's. We always like to show you the grab and go options and it would seem to be a, a no duck hoisin wrap here. Uh, but there's also a falafel and spiced hummus wrap. It's just not there at the moment. And there's a couple of sides and like a little, what's this, Jay? Uh, nuts and seed flapjack. Yeah. Plant revolution. And there's a few things. And they've got the vegetable gyozas that are clearly marked vegan as well as a snack side. So, so they do have bits, if that's what you're looking for. We were just looking, they used to do a big bag of like um, avocados. They're still doing really good priced avocados, bag of four save as avocados for £1.35 and as like most supermarkets Morrison's has got a fantastic fruit and veg section really good selection really good prices and hopefully that's where you're going to spend most of your time but onward he was looking for the avocados that's why he's shaking his head great range of hummuses here uh, 2 25 and some of them are clearly marked vegan as you can see there uh, there's a classic topped with jalapeno chili jam moroccan inspired velvet hummus a lot of these kind of basics ones as well red pepper reduced fat they're one pound 35 uh, and again moroccan style are clearly marked vegan uh, and we've spotted this morrison's garlic and herb pizza bread how much is it, Jay? At uh, $1.95. $1.95 and clearly marked vegan. Also, you can get some stuff from the salad bar and you can get a vegan pizza made, should you fancy. In the chilled section, Morrison's are getting very good with their uh, labelling. When it's vegan, it clearly says vegan on it, much like that Moroccan inspired custard salad. And we've never seen this before. We're going to have to find the price for it online because it's not here, but they do do a plant revolution called Crunchy Slaw. Eh, lovely. Again, we're still in the chilled section and you might find that Morrison's are different all over the place. What's in ours might not be in yours or you might have a lot more than we have. But they do have some squeaky bean meats, as you can see there, two ninety nine and two forty nine respectively. And they do have some uh, corn but not much, just the vegan chicken free slices and the vegan pepperoni. Although the sweet chilli fillets are also vegan. And the vegan smoky ham slices. Ignore the tenderlish stuff, it's all vegetarian. Uh, but there are some ready meals. There's a lovely mushroom stroking off that rice, that's gorgeous. It does, doesn't it? Rice and pea. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, these are all 2 99 The chilli non carne. Chilling on carne. It's a shame that they don't hide the rice because that's the bit you, do, you, you, yeah. you don't want to see necessarily. There you go. Or uh, even a, a little half and half. Half like and that. half, that's better, brothers. <laughs> yeah. And of course, what are these? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine each. Yeah. And this is uh, butternut squash and coconut curry. Lovely. So yeah, a few ready meals as well, and they've got an obligatory vegan pucker pie, a mint steak and onion. But only one on its own. Oh. And they've got a minestrone soup here, Morrison's own, clearly marked vegan, and that's, I think, £2. Nice. Right, out of the chilled section, I'm cowed. We've mentioned them in all the other supermarket vlogs, but uh, pretty much all of the New York bakery core bagels are clearly marked vegan, as are the Warburton soft pitters, um, as are things like these wraps. All of them uh, are clearly marked vegan. £1.59 the wraps. Suitable for vegans on the front, do you see? And we'll have a look at the basics bread as well and show you. You can also get uh, vegan nan breads. Uh, these ones are the Clay Oven Bakery Company. We've had these before as well. 
Uh, garlic and coriander are how much, Jay? Um, they're 175, I think. Yep, and the smaller ones are 169. So there you go, should you fancy. And it's the same with the bread as it is in most of the other great supermarkets. Uh, what Morrison's do their own um, a basic white loaf marked vegan 45p a slightly better white loaf 75p a wholemeal loaf 75p and even a right portion as well but that's one pound 45 whole wholemeal sunflower seed and spelt um so yeah when they're marked vegan they're it's very clear uh, and don't forget as we've mentioned in other vlogs you've you've got um uh, Kingsmill and Warburton's and most of them will say on them suitable for vegans so bread shouldn't be a worry onward we're just checking out the wine situation here and we've discovered that um, Morrison's doing boxed wines now the Malbec is clearly marked vegan uh, but the Shiraz and Merlot are not however most of the whites are the Chardonnay the Sauvignon Blanc and the Pinot Grigio are all clearly marked vegan. Now you've really got to do the looking here at Morrison's when it comes to wine, if a wine drinker you are. It's like that one for example, it's beautiful. Um, and it is clearly marked vegan, but you've really got to look to find my uh, wines in here that are clearly marked vegan. Um, yeah, the other strange thing is um, the boxed Malbec over there is vegan. And but their bottled isn't. The bottled isn't. Yeah. So that's a bit odd. But anyway, yeah. I'm getting one of those pinotages because I like the bottle and I love a pinotage. <laughs> I love a zebra. Right, onward. Unfortunately, most of Morrison's own crisps are marked as vegetarian and some of them contain milk. However, just in case you didn't know, most flavours of Seabrooks, apart from the cheese and onion, are clearly marked vegan. Uh, the prawn cocktail, vegan approved on the back. Even Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, which isn't vegan. Their fla the Seabrook's flavour crisps are vegan. Even the beef. Even the beef. So, yeah. Good choices um, with brand names, but not with their own. Unfortunately, the biscuit situation is much like the crisp situation. Uh, most of their own brand biscuits are clearly marked vegetarian. Um, however, they do sell Lion's Rich Tea biscuits for 70p. 70p, and they're clearly marked. They're clearly marked vegan, as are some of their sweets, like the strawberry laces, cola straws, are those ones as well? Yep, rainbow belts. Um, so, you know, should you fancy a fizzy sweet, you can get some of them here at least. We're assuming you already know this, but just in case you don't, Jammy Dodgers are vegan and clearly marked, as are uh, Oreos. I don't know if they're clearly marked, but they're vegan uh, in this country because we don't use bone char in our sugar. Uh, and you'll find lots of, you know, lovely bars and things as well that are also clearly marked vegan. you just got to look. Right, onward. Little bargains like this are worth pointing out, though. Savers, strawberry jam clearly marked vegan 36 pence oh jam on toast barbara with a cup of tea watching emma dale <laughs> the really good selection of um, shelf stable long life milks uh, here on the shelves of the whole board actually some i've never seen before um but yeah there's all them there's quite a few cereals as well so we've we've already shown you in previous shopping vlogs that, that there are some name brand cereals that are clearly marked vegan but there's also stuff like this in Morrison's clearly marked vegan Sultana brand 199 uh, the brand flakes are clearly marked vegan £1.19 fruit and fibre fruit and fibre 99p clearly marked vegan very good oh yeah uh, uh, sure I'm sure they are vegan, but now we need to yes, check. Yes, they are. We have yeah, to check yeah, yeah. to make sure. Yeah. That's, that's Kellogg's blueberry wheat. I don't trust my own memory. I don't trust my own memory sometimes. Uh, and you know about uh, things like wheat biscuits. They're £1.33 at the moment. Um, 
So, you know, like your Weetabix, clearly marked vegan. Mighty Maltese 79p. Really good. Uh, and Morrison's is one of the only places other than a card or an online where you can get whole earth a golden organic cornflakes 185 absolutely gorgeous if you've ever had Kellogg's cornflakes same thing just vegan no sheep's skin vitamin D in there marvellous so we're on the free from aisle and there's there's quite a few uh, things on here including these £2.50 zest sauces vegan tomato and fiery chilli Mexican style uh, tomato basil and oregano pasta sauce and tomato mushroom and smoked garlic pasta sauce plus oh and they're 250 each and then the sackler vegan um, pestos a basil a tomato and a chili 329 and 310 respectively and there's there's loads of bits on this aisle uh, you might want to have a right good look on here nice oh, to see is that uh, vegan as well yeah it's, it's you've got to be a bit careful with your granola because a lot of the time it it's, says 100 percent plant based it says vegan on the back as well it should be three pound 80 down to two pound 90 i've not tried this but it looks really nice nice yeah we were just saying off camera it's not necessarily as good a free from section as asda but you know there are bits and there's all these chocolate bits again we're still on the free from aisle there's a lot of no more and um or oh, buttermilk caramel nugget chockey bar which is a bit like a Mars bar yeah they're great aren't really. they really and deliciously Ella all kinds of bits right let's go and have a look elsewhere well I tell you what guys we've seen some significant changes in uh, Morrison's since the last time we did a really big shopping vlog in here for example look at these Morrison's essentials uh, bath form a pound clearly marked vegan uh, 66p one clearly marked vegan stress relief could we just clarify as well the marked vegan and cruelty free yeah 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 which is really good of course original source is always vegan and cruelty free uh, fabulous stuff astonish as well oh yeah they've got astonish down here uh, astonish um, oh they've even got one for kids there Jay look <laughs> two in one for kids Hair and body for men, pound each, clearly marked vegan and cruelty free, as astonished products always are. But then we went down here because we thought, oh, they've made significant changes now. Have they done it? Fresh mint toothpaste, clearly marked vegan and cruelty free, free, 50p. Gum health toothpaste, again, vegan and cruelty free, a pound. Whitening, sensitive. 150 clearly marked vegan and cruelty free they've even got a basic mouthwash 45p which is cool mint again clearly marked and then they've got their listerine alternative one pound 25 again clearly marked fantastic loads of shower gels loads of bath forms they've got deodorants down there and body sprays all clearly marked vegan and cruelty free and it's bloody fantastic to see well done morrison's nice little body lotion here as well marked um uh, both vegan and cruelty free complete hydration body lotion one pound fifty more savers products savers gravy granules clearly marked vegan and 50p um sage and onion stuffing 39p Ignore the brown sauce, it's only marked vegetarian. Ketchup, 56p, clearly marked vegan. We were looking to see if they had all of the um, vegan oxos in. They haven't, but they've got the beef, the meat-free one, which is clearly marked vegan. And they do have other things. Um, where was the one you just had? This one here, the no vegetable, is clearly marked. Oh, yeah, it's marked vegan on the back. That's £1.50. Uh, the callow, I believe, are... Um, vegan as well but uh, Tesco's do stock the all of the um, the chicken and the beef style oxo cubes oh nooch nutritional yeast looks like fish food 
tastes like heaven. <laughs> and uh, of course, clearly marked vegan, as is the bouillon at the side of it, right there. We did point out in the Christmas vlogs, but we'll do it again because we can't guarantee you so well. The vegetable, the onion, uh, the beef and the chicken gravies are all 99p here at Morrison's and they're all clearly marked vegan. So great to see. Morrison's own brand again. They've got quite a few um, pasta sauces, tomato and garlic, 95p, clearly marked. Bolognese, big jar, great for a family, actually, 129 a uh, smaller one um, for, you know, maybe two of you, three of you. Clearly marked vegan, 99p. And even a basic savers pasta sauce, 47p. Clearly marked vegan. Smart one vegetable, smart one chilli. Yeah, they do a good range of their own sauces and they're a really good price. Some really good um, price savers in here. 52p for uh, a nice one kilogram bag of long grain rice which is marked vegetarian it's like what could be in it it's dried rice it's that is one thing that really annoys me i wish that supermarkets would get on that it's like if it's clearly vegan mark it vegan for people anyway 52p for a kilogram of rice is cracking one grain brown rice there a little bit more expensive yeah but much better for the environment yeah. and for you as a person so yeah they've got these big you know saving packets of rice and everything they've got all the usual great big bags of rice and dried ingredients and all of the uh, tins of beans and things so a good a good a good selection i tell you unfortunately even though we can find pasta sauces um by morrison's that are clearly marked vegan not the same with curries but as we've mentioned before, all of these fabulous pastes from Patax are clearly marked vegan. And all you've got to do really is use, you know, like a third of a jar with a tin of coconut milk or a carton of passata. You've got a curry. That's why they're a bit pricey. Well, we haven't seen these before either, but they've got these lovely kits here for 150 is everything in there, Jess? Yeah, pretty much to make the make the stuff. It's all there, and they're the all, suggestions of what you can have it with. They're all clearly marked vegan, and they're all clearly marked gluten free as well. So they're very good to see. I'll give them a wide shot. Lots of tins in here are clearly marked vegan as well. For example, Morrison Savers mushy peas, thirty-two uh, p, clearly marked vegan. Tin of garden peas. The new, well, we think this might be the new tin. Um, hey, it's clearly marked vegan. 50p. Garden peas underneath. 28p savers. They're clearly marked vegan, Jeff. Uh, yeah. I just saw before, I'm sure. Yeah, there. Ah, lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And as we've just spotted over here, look at this. Canned spaghetti loops. 19p. Clearly marked. Strand spaghetti 19p, clearly marked. Slightly posher spaghetti 50p, clearly marked. Lovely. A little bit, so it's a little bit mixed with the tins, but most of them are. So, like the carrots are clearly marked, for example, the fine green beans aren't. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, Jason hates that stuff. I love it. I've never seen a tin of it that size before. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> right, so we're on the canned vegetable aisle, and Jason was just saying, do check your tins because some of them are clearly marked vegan and some of them aren't. But they've got this whole little section here of fabulous stuff. So, Plant Revolution, they do do a curry after all, 75p, tasty ticker style sauce. There's a lovely plantastic caramelised onion and sweet potato. Is that clearly marked vegan, Jay? Let me check, because it does say... It says 100% plant-based. There you go, that's enough. 100% plant-based is enough. I mean, it is. I mean, it's always wanting that, we're wanting that reassurance, aren't we? On yeah. the back, it actually does say on the back, suitable for vegetarians. Right. But looking at the ingredients with a quick scan over, everything is good. I know, it says 100% plant-based, doesn't it? Uh, Sharwoods do a deliciously vegan korma, 2 99 Underneath we've got zest, vegan spinach, mushroom and ricotta sauce with lentil protein, 250 
vegan tomato and mac pony <laughs> sauce uh, 250 merchant gourmet these are vegan approved Thai green lentil curry just add rice ready meal spicy lentil curry poi lentil bolognese lentil madras curry they're all 350 and oh Bayona as well a lot of stuff there uh, chili con quinoa vegan high protein Fre bentos oh yeah the Fre bentos uh, vegan pie S steak and kidney bean pie vegan food lovely watch out for these Just ignore them yeah yeah why? Because you could easily get tricked, but it's like they're not vegan. No. Uh, these nut roasts are lovely. We've had both of these. Donna got them with us for Christmas a few years ago, do you remember? Yeah. 225, lovely. Uh, but, oh wow, Jason, look at that. Oh, excellent. 88p down from 349. What's the date on it? Uh, January 2024. Ah, there you go, that's why. But if you've got any any use for Nooch, this is currently 88p, which is fantastic. Oh, wow. I know. Protein mints, pea and fava. So that's gluten-free then, is it? Yeah, it says on the front, yeah. gluten-free and vegan, £3.9. Bonson absolutely vegan, organic, smoky jackfruit. Oh, there's all kinds of bits, and yeah. th and then they've got these zest pestos as well. Fantastic to see. Oh, Plant Revolution smoky barbecue jackfruit, ready made in a bag. One fifty red Thai style spiced coconut. And then we've got uh, yeah. Oh, these are the Loma ready meals, aren't they? Yeah. Plant based goodness again, Jamaican style jerk bowl, tikka masala, taco filling, Thai, thai green curry. They've got tuna for a pound, one with mayo, one mild curry, and one lemon pepper. I believe we've tried the lemon pepper one. And they've got the spring water one as well, there. Right? Spring water, yeah. Plant Revolution shredded jack jackfruit, 150. Tofu chunks, 150. Yeah, we're not going to outline everything for you, but well, well, well worth a look in the tins, aisles. There's there's loads of stuff. Look, go on, Jay, what were you going to say? I was going to say, it's brilliant. I kind of take back a little bit what we said before about um, it not being quite as good as Asda. It might be on par. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads. And lovely to see. And in the chilled section, they've got some vegan creams mixed in with the, you know, their brand name counterparts. They've got a whole range of chilled um, vegan milks. Lots and lots and lots and lots of them. And they've got, of course, this healthier vegan or vegetarian alternatives section. So lots of... Um, Lots of cheeses. Applewood vegan minis. Oh, that's cute. cute. £1.75. They're so cute for your lunchbox. Yeah, they are cute. Nice. Aren't they? Oh, so I was just going to get a close up. Uh, Applewood slices, vegan block. Um, Morrison's own uh, grated mild and garlic and herb. Um, oh, yeah, it says vegan. Garlic and herb spread. They've got a mature alternative. And then you're getting into the lacto-free is mixed in, so they're vegetarian, not vegan. A whole range of Violife products. A lovely custard and a whipping cream and a single cream and an oat cream and an oat de creme fraiche and all kinds of desserts. Yeah. A nice little uh, vegan chiller here, unfortunately kind of mixed into this whole massive death section. I call it death section because it's dead animals, that's what it is. I'm not saying it to trigger anybody, It's that's what it is. Them are dead animal body parts, animals that have been killed in horrific pain, uh, are chopped up and put on supermarket shelves for you. So yeah, there you go, you'll get the truth off me Barbara. <laughs> um, 
they've got a lot of vegetarian butch stuff what the cluck uh, the um, chicken style pieces these are all two for five pound uh, southern fried chicken fillets chicken breast fillet that's three pound unbeliever balls uh, which is of course a meatball alternative patty on the back which is a nice big patty I can't remember whether they're vegan Jess and the, uh, the tin does. that's what I'm just looking at now they've got this isn't sausages beyond burgers which are outstanding Vivira chicken breasts this isn't bacon rashers Richmond bacon Richmond sausages and some Vivira the shawarma kebab the beef strips and the spicy chicken kebab style and then underneath some corn stuff which is not always vegan don't forget it always says when it is but it isn't always and a nice little selection of tofu in fact what I call the two best tofus which are cauldron and tofu lovely uh, we're still in it's it goes in hours from the butcher section to the deli section so they've mixed in the vegan pucker pies here with the standard pucker pies um, so they've got the vegan no steak the new one which is chunky 125 and a lot of people are saying it's absolutely gorgeous and they've also got the pucker um, vegan sausage roll which is 175 they're doing this in a lot of supermarkets now and I don't really get it but uh, maybe I do um, so Cathedral City plant based is actually not in the alternative dairy section it's here in with all the rest of the Cathedral City it's 325 and they've also got pure dairy free grated for 199 again mixed in with all the all the sorry I'm gonna say it horrific dairy cheese there I've said it good selection of spreads as well as we've mentioned before all the flora range is now vegan but they've also got oh Jay I've never seen this before oh nice via life block yeah £2.19 and via spread so is that like spreadable butter yeah it is Two nineteen. never seen that before either and they've also got a nice range of pewers spreads and of course the classic old Vitalite the, the longest vegan spread on the market I think um, they've also got ready made pastries but it's very busy in that section so we're trying to avoid it as we mentioned before short crust and puff pastry sheets from Just Roll are vegan and happy to say that Morrison's own at 99p both short crust and uh, puff pastry are also clearly marked vegan Henderson's Relish fantastic it's like an alternative to uh, Liam Perrin's Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce uh, clearly marked vegan made in Sheffield it is a store cupboard essential trust me on this um, and just so you know Morrison's has got a great range of sauces and condiments and a lot of stuff here is clearly marked vegan you've got to look you've really got to have a look but you will find lots of mustards and salad dressings and all kinds of sauces did you know by the way that HP is vegan just in case you didn't is that Mark Jason no that one isn't but uh, the Savers English mustard is clearly Mark's vegan nice one and that's only 65p vegan mayos Hellman's which most people will say is one of the best ones anyway just for the record well they've also got the Plant Revolution one at 159 they have indeed and they've got Heinz vegan salad cream at £3.40 yep I was, just, I was just checking then to see if the same as salad cream was my vegan because it'd be like, get that one instead. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll you'll find loads, loads of stuff that is clearly marked vegan. He says looking at something while I don't know whether that is ignoring me. My eyes aren't good enough to see it. Um, but yeah, you will find loads and loads of uh, oils and dressings and condiments and stuff. Clearly marked vegan. Uh, oh, even a Heinz vegan mayo aioli. Lovely. 
That Wagamama house dressing is vegan. Says so. Right there. Always worth checking out the clearance freezers as we've just spotted. They've got all this uh, stuff. Bird's eye green cuisine chicken free dippers. One pound three at the moment. Uh, Heinz beans burgers. They're vegan, aren't they, brothers? They are. Yep, 63p. Um, Planted egg free veggie omelette. We've had them and they're not too bad, but they're more like a. They're more kind of waffly than mm. omelette. Yeah. 63p anyway. Uh, plant it chicken free southern fried bites 63p salt and chili strip 63p corn takeaway sticky barbecue wings 75p fantastic and they've got the turkey still available for £1.90 um, so yeah you know loads of bits how much are these Sticky barbecue wings. Uh, I believe they are 75 pence down from £1.50. Oh. Yeah, we'll get two of them. Be rude not to. Right, now we'll have a look in the main freezer. Okay, we're at the main freezer section, so I'm going to have to kind of show you the prices and then open the door so you can see the products. Um, but yeah, they've got loads of, loads and loads and loads of stuff. Uh, I wish Linda McCartney would get rid of that. Yeah, I know. I mean. want that gone. Yeah, it's too. like you need to go vegan now. If Linda was still alive, Linda McCartney Foods would now be fully vegan. Yeah. Paul, sort it out, Mr. McCartney. Stop focusing on bloody lipper. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this isn't beef mince, this isn't pork sausages, this isn't chicken pieces, and this isn't chicken tenders. All three pounds. Um, the Tyndall, all of these ones are clearly marked vegan. There's uh, no chicken burger, no chicken tenders, no chicken wing and no chicken nuggets. Uh, down from £4 to £3. Pretty good. Lord of Linda McCartney stuff, ignore that. It's full of abuse and cruelty and they need to sort it out. Uh, but much of the Linda McCartney range is clearly marked vegan. Um, how much is that? Ten sausages in a bag. Because they've got this, the, these family value packs of veggie mints and sausages. There's no price for the 10 pack, only price is for the 6 pack of sausages. Oh. Well, they do them anyways, they're great for families then. And they do a load of my favourite pizza, Margarita Pomodori from Dr. Erka. 3.25. Beautiful. And then they've got a load of corn stuff. I, as we always say about corn stuff, it's not all vegan. So check your labels, if it is vegan, somewhere on it, it will say, if not in the title, like that. And then we get to Morrison's own stuff, uh, Plant Revolution. They've got eight burgers for one ninety nine, four four veggie burgers for one ninety nine, uh, no fish fingers for £2, Herby sausages for one ninety nine, nuggets one ninety nine, uh, no meatballs and no mints one ninety nine. Just so you can see what the packaging looks like. So yeah, they've got they've got plenty of stuff in the freezers. Oh, two no sausage and bean melts. Ooh, tasty. Nice sausage rolls. Lovely. Yeah, a whole good range in the freezers. And all as great, well. Great prices as well. Great yeah. Prices. Really good prices. Here we've got a little party food fridge and they've still got, or maybe it's a regular item, um, the no tempura prawns. I think we had them not too long back. Uh, they're and two they've got 249. 249. They've also got 12 vegetable spring rolls for 175 and 12 onion barges for 175. Clearly marked vegan. As are the vegetable s'mores. They're clearly marked vegan as well. So that's good to see, isn't it? If you like patty, they've also got the uh, Island Delight vegetable Jamaican patties, four in a box for £3.9p. And of course, the vegetable and the spicy vegetable, which unfortunately they don't have here, are clearly marked vegan. So, quick check of uh, the free from freezer section. And we've got cones 
So we've got the chocolate and nut cones and the strawberry cones, both clearly marked vegan. Tubs of ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, clearly marked vegan. And also the uh, the almond chocks and the chocks there, clearly marked vegan. Yeah, fantastic. And either some Kirsty's ready meals, um, a vegetable lasagna and a mac and cheese, should you fancy. Well, we never planned to get much. <laughs> uh, we came out to do a vlog and a vlog we've done. That's what we're getting, and we'll see you back in the car. So there we go. We hope that you've enjoyed that uh, look around Morrison's with us today. I'm pleased I got those um, Quorn wing things for 75p. Bargain. Bargain, absolute bargain. Um, so we decided uh, that uh, the co-op was going to be one of the places that we've looked at. We decided not to bother. Uh, yeah. Just because we used to, we used to have two co-ops, one in Royton and one in Lees. The one in Lees shut down and became an Aldi. That was a good co-op. The one, uh, in, the one in Royton has never been so good. He, he, as you probably saw in our Christmas vlogs, um, it's just not worth. And it's such a shame uh, because the co-op are such an ethical company. We banked with them for years yeah. because of that. It is um, a shame. It's a real shame. But um, they don't put the effort in in the Royton store. They don't put the effort in near us. So right from the start of the January, the co-op was always going to be the bottom of our pile. Yeah. Um, we're not annoyed massively at the co-op, although, as Paul just said, could they do better near to us? Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's fair to say that it might be worth you checking out your local co-op. Absolutely, because yours might be like our old one in Leeds that had a lot more than our one in Royton. I know it's a lot of places. <laughs> um, but we hope that we've shown you that, in particular, at Tesco, Asda, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, you can do a full shop. Easily, you can pick up special fancy bits from M&S. Mm -hmm. You can do almost a core shop at Aldi. Yeah, Lidl. We're going to visit again around the end of February, beginning of March. In fact, we'll visit. We'll do an Aldi and Lidl update to see what they still have from their January products because they're the only ones that really massively reduce. Their stuff. Yeah, we'll kind of be like investigative journalists. We'll go and investigate Aldi and Lidl end of February, early March, give them that bit of breathing space yeah. post Veganuary, go back and be like, okay, guys, where are you up to now? Also, got a point out, I know we did it in there, but well done to uh, Morrison's for upping their labelling game when it comes to personal, personal care. Personal care products, absolutely. That's a huge thing for people. So well done, well done, Morrison's there. Now, we hope sincerely that you've enjoyed your veganuary journey with us and we hope that you're sticking around now that this is now your new lifestyle mm -hmm. and you're moving forward with it veganuary is a fantastic time for people to focus and say do you know what i'm going to try this for a few weeks and we always hope that we help in those few weeks to show you look how easy it is look how affordable it is look how diverse it is Look how delicious it is. And that's what it's all about. Absolutely. It's it will it, everything we do and say and promote always comes back to the animals. Yeah. The last thing I would like to say, aside from uh, please do give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel because it's free and it helps us. The last thing that I would say is a big shout out and a massive to salute to We Are Veganuary, Veganuary, because year on year on year, They've created a movement, year on year, more and more people have joined that movement more globally. stay at the end. Yeah, um, so I want to just take a second to also salute and say thank you to everybody that's involved um, at Veganuary in terms of organising the campaigns and everything. I know it's not quite as prolific in other parts of the world as it is here in the UK, um, but the, the wings are flapping, the ripples are, uh, are going, whatever other analogy I can think of, but they're creating waves, we're creating waves, and whatever greenwashing out there, whatever there is around, um, you know, all oh, the the processed meats and everything now, that we're seeing a downturn in all of that stuff, in, in, in the meat alternatives, there's more and more vegans every single day. It's getting better. It really is, slowly yeah. but surely. Of course it is. Yeah. So, yeah, stick with us, will you?
and now that you've become a vegan, <laughs> well done, by the way. And uh, we'll get back to our normal broadcasting now, which is our meals vlog every Tuesday, um, and a live every weekend and all bits. We're always doing shopping bits and stuff, out. not There's all kinds of bits. There's, the, you know, a semi-regular basis. We've got taste tests on the channel. Um, you know, we did some taste testing on our mukbang last night with some new hot sauces. Last night was Saturday. We're filming this on Sunday. Yeah. Um, so thank you for that. Um, so, yeah, there's, like Paul said, there's bits and things on the channel, but our core stuff, we're live every weekend, Saturday, Friday, Sunday, rotating, and our meals vlog on a Tuesday night. And now we're going to go home and have some actual downtown. Because although this has been weekend, we've done nothing but vlog, <laughs> trying to get ready for the end of uh, January. And um, so now, it's over to you. You uh, sticking around for this vegan lifestyle? You would bloody hope so. Love you, mister. Love you. Mm. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves. <laughs>